for a long time, <clears throat> certainly since October 7th, people have internally suggested uh, that Joe Biden's handling of <clears throat> Gaza, uh, his management of Israel's war on Gaza, uh, has earned him a lot of hate, a lot of undercover talk, a lot of backdoor disparagement from his own administration. And the best evidence of that is that people keep resigning. Well, Two more U.S. officials just resigned over President Joe Biden's handling of Israel's war on Gaza, uh, Alexander Smith and Stacey Gilbert. Uh, Smith is the senior advisor on gender, maternal health and nutrition uh, for the U.S. Agency for International Development. And Stacey Gilbert is a State Department official uh, from the Bureau of Population, Refugees and Immigration. Uh, Alexander Smith said that his presentation on maternity and child mortality among Palestinians was canceled. Canceled, right? He's literally trying to explain what's happening to moms and children in Palestine who comprise two thirds of the population of people who have been killed. And you know, he got told, according to him, according to him, he said he was given the ultimatum, ultimatum to quit or get fired. You can't say it's your job. To me, if they tell me either you quit or get fired, that means you fire me, really. He accuses the administration of not assessing Palestinians the same as they do uh, those of other countries, you know, the women and children of other countries. Uh, on Tuesday, Gilbert resigned after the, after the administration released an official report stating that Israel was not preventing the flow of aid to Gaza and that Israel, quote, increased humanitarian access over the last few months. This is crazy. Basically, what Gilbert is saying is, I can't sit as part of an administration that is literally lying about what's happening. The flow of aid to Gaza has been non-existent since the Rafah uh, crossing, clo uh, crossing was closed. Uh, a lot of the food on the Egyptian side of the border isn't getting in, or and more importantly, it's rotting because it can't get in. So these resignations bring the total number of Biden administration uh, officials who have publicly resigned up to the number nine. Nine. There are also, according to my sources, more people who have resigned who just didn't make the explicit connection because they didn't want to ruffle any feathers. So it might be nine, but it could also be 12, 13, 14 people who have resigned because of what's happening in Gaza. But it's not just about the number of people who have resigned. This is about a bigger issue, a much bigger issue. And that is that the Biden administration is not only ignoring the left, and progressive activist voters and college students, they're, they're also ignoring Arab voters and Muslim voters. They're ignoring the global community and the global consensus. The Biden administration is ignoring everybody, but they're also ignoring their own experts. You got media professionals who have resigned. You got demographers and, and, and people who are experts on, on, on the demographics of, of, of survival resigning. You got military strat strategic, uh, strategists who are resigning. You got strategic allies in other countries who are listening and saying, this doesn't make sense. And it's resonating with people in your department, in your administration, who are saying, look, President Biden, like, this doesn't make sense, right? You got people who just simply want you to tell the truth about the fact that aid isn't getting in. But you won't. These Resignations are crucial. They are urgent. They are necessary. You see, when you resign in a public way like this, you put a spotlight on the Biden administration. You are humiliating the Biden administration. Now, let me be clear. I don't think that humiliating the Biden administration is the goal. It's not my goal. But it don't hurt. Unfortunately, the Biden administration is never going to do anything out of principle or ethics. They're only going to do things out of strategy and uh, cynicism. And so if they're getting embarrassed by their own administration and voters are, are not voting for them and people are saying they're uncommitted, even when Joe Biden is not running against anybody, when you have people marching against him, when you have Netanyahu being shouted down and embarrassed in Israel, in, in, inside of Israel by liberal Zionist voters, when all of this is happening, you force Biden's hand. Whatever you think of October 7th, whatever you think of the student protests on college campuses, whatever you think of the ICC, whatever you think of the ICJ, the fact of the matter is 
the last seven months have produced a set of outcomes have produced a set of outcomes that otherwise would not have happened. You just don't see the Biden administration making any of the choices that they've made that are remotely positive without the pressure that has been applied. So salute to those officials who resigned over Gaza. I appreciate you. I respect you. And I hope you continue to fight that good fight.